If we want to make the most of life, it helps to have goals. And Yuthika Nagasur certainly seems to have formed a clear vision of her purpose in life at an early age. This doesn't mean that she believes in limiting her interests to a narrow field either, as Karishma discovered. You may be a little surprised to see your pharmacist channeling all her energy into a Bollywood dance performance. But whether she's in the dispensary or on stage, Yuthika believes that half measures are to be used only if they're on a doctor's prescription. I love that more and more women are wholeheartedly embracing their cultural heritage these days. Yuthika Nagesa is one of these inspired women and I'm about to meet her and find out more. Her love of dance isn't limited to traditional Indian folk and Bollywood because she's very well versed in the art of Kathak. She graduated as a fully-fledged performer of this classic style a few years ago. Yuthika, you are such a beautiful dancer. Thank you, Kofa. How are you? I'm very well. You are a classically trained dancer. Where did your love for dance start? I've been dancing since I was six and I've been classically trained since then. So I graduated in 2013 as a classically trained Kathak dancer after 13 years of intense training. So I think it's safe to say that the Nad and Dinnas and the 5, 6, 7, 8s are etched in my mind forever. On a more serious note, you are also a pharmacy student. What drew you to the field? Now I've graduated, I'm currently completing my community service. My dad is a pharmacist, so I literally grew up in the pharmacy. My cot was in the dispensary. So being exposed to it from such a young age, I always knew I wanted to do something in healthcare, and I think the ability to help people is what really drew me to pharmacy. Yudhika is equally adept at dispensing scripts and style advice. And she's the creative mind behind a blog that encourages her readers to be youthful. You are a woman of many talents because you're also very into fashion. The fashion is actually very much inspired by the dancing and that cultural aspect of my life. And I actually do have a shoot planned for today for the blog. So would you like to join me? I'd love that. Accessories were the focus of the photo shoot with footwear taking center stage. Yuthika has an eclectic approach to fashion, with a flair for matching up items that at first glance may seem destined to clash, until you see the synergy they generate. It's all part of a signature style, combining timeless elegance with an on-trend edge. Where did the inspiration for your blog come from? My inspiration has come from so many places, places I've traveled, people I've met, words I've read. I really enjoy the process of introspection and like really getting to know yourself and kind of letting that come through in the way that we dress. Yuthika has an analytical mind, but there's more than a touch of the bohemian in her personality. And this is reflected in the ethnic elements of the street chic looks that she creates. Tell me a bit more about the Indo-Western trend. I see you've got a lot of beautiful things here on the table. Being exposed to different dance styles like folk dancing and things. So that cultural aspect of my life has been with me forever. I have also incorporated that in the way I dress. So it's like for example these shoes, they've got little bells on them which kind of depict the gungaroos that I was wearing. Um, so that's the dancing. And then if you'd like I can show you some more looks on our rail. I would love that. So as you can see, Krishma, these are some of my favourite pieces at the moment. Tell me a bit about the winter trends. Well, for winter, as we know, fur is always a go-to. So this piece I really love. As long as it's for fur, it's definitely here to stay. We're saving the animals always. This, I would pair it with like a tulle dress, which is really in shears, in meshes in. And then because of the dress, you can go wild with the pants underneath. Maybe put some leather pants or even sequins pants underneath. And for this particular look, I would love to pair it with something like this. Embroidery is really in at the moment as well and yeah it just kind of ties the whole thing together what is your go-to look I love something like this so this is a mirrored waistcoat you can see the embroidery and the ethnicity really coming through and then pairing it with something simple like a pair of jeans but a pair of jeans that's reworked so distressed denim is really in tassels are always really good to go for and the length of these jeans is kind of different you know it's in between and gives it a whole different feel. 
How would you incorporate some Eastern items into a Western wardrobe? Well, you can do it in so many ways. For example, even a simple bag like this, something that, that has the ethnicity coming through. Or even if you pair it with simple earrings, you know, like an Eastern earring. There's so many ways. And even if you look at something like this, with the simple embroidery at the bottom or the borders that you can use and put it on your garments to incorporate an Eastern element. So it really comes down to the prints and the textures. At the end of the day, I think that's it, but it's also how you layer those that can make the biggest difference. Do you ever incorporate more traditional items like a sari or into a look? So actually, that's one of my favorite things to do. So for example, if you look at this skirt, it's actually a vintage skirt. So it's an old sari that's been reworked to create a pleated midi skirt. And then pairing it with something like a white collared shirt, which is a classic, will always keep your look looking authentic and refined. Do you think it's becoming more popular or trendy for young women to start embracing the heritage rather than running away from it? That's exactly what I'm trying to promote with the blog, is to get people to really embrace who they are, enjoy being yourself and enjoy letting that come through instead of just trying to imitate the person before you because I feel like in today's day and age, there's just such a pressure to try and be a certain way or portray a certain someone where, as a matter of fact, you're cutting yourself short and you're actually really good enough. Nice. Look at the camera. Gutika was busy preparing fresh material for her blog, which would feature a gypsy denim interpretations. Okay, thank you, Gutika. That's a wrap. Gutika, I think you're going to get some great pics out of that. Yeah, I agree. It went really well. I know after a photo shoot, I always feel really stiff. And I know you're a yogi, just like me. So should we have a quick yoga sesh? Yes, please. Between pharmacy, fashion and dance, you think that Yuthika has little time for other interests. But she's also managed to fit in a 200-hour yoga teacher's training course. Yuthika, I've had so much fun with you today. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. It really was such a good day. Yuthika, should we end off with a beautiful Sira Namaskar? I think we should worship the sun. Yes, <laughs> let's do it. Okay, standing in Tadasana. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, place the palm. 